segueing to the current administration, the Biden administration, what advice would you give them um, regarding uh, the ACA and, and the uh, moves that they're making there? I haven't sat silently for sure. I've given them some advice. And um, among my advice is to look at California, to look at the states where it's been very successful, both in getting a lot of people covered and in um, having competition, uh, holding premium rates down. I believe last year in California, the rate increases were less than a half a percent. Um, so why is that? It's because California went all in. It's because California expanded Medicaid and told the plans, if you wanna be in Medicaid in California, if you wanna be part of Medi-Cal, great, we, we'd love to have you, but you also need to participate in the marketplaces for the uninsured. And they've spent their own money on doing marketing and enrollment in California. It suggests they have spent money. Um, even so, the so-called young invincibles have been hard to bring into the marketplace. And it does appear that one thing they've learned is that the um, tax credits to defray the cost of, of premiums and the subsidies are important. They just did, went through a round about a year ago of improving that in California, and it's made a difference in getting people into the market. So there's a, there's a whole playbook from California um, of how you go about strengthening this law um, and by the way, it doesn't involve a public plan. They haven't had to do that. They have plenty of competition. So I believe that we can do that. Uh, I believe President Biden has already taken a start towards that and what, what just passed the, uh, the Rescue Act. So that's what I would do. I would build on that foundation. 